Hello, hello. I know the countdown ended early, but I started it late. So I'd rather start the game on time rather than wait any other time with that. So hello. Welcome to all of you to another Saturday night. Uh, it's just me and Jeff tonight. Um, so Jeff is here. Honest. Hi, I'm here. See, see, he was just being I'm, quiet. I but yes, me and, me and Jeff are here for your power washing needs. Um, yeah, Dan's mm -hmm. busy tonight. So... Uh, He's, he's going to be away for a little while. He's got some stuff to do. So uh, it looks like it's just the two of us for a little while. Uh, but we'll do different games. We won't always sit on the power wash, but we're going to continue this Helter Skelter that me and Dan started on last time. Well, we didn't really start it, but you know. So I shall get that ready. I shall uh, go start, resume the job, and then I can come back and set it to multiplayer. So... Jeff can find us. Oh, are you, can you find me? That's the thing. Oh, uh, uh, let you me can't see yet. Here. But give me a sec. I mean, I'll get this clicked sure. onto the. I don't think this one was too difficult. I, I think you the, managed uh... to find us before, didn't you? Um, yeah. So here we go. Carp is now on. Uh, set for friends uh, only, though. So uh, yeah, you should be able to come along and join me in here. Let's see here. See That's the. Kevin Barnard's uh, Helter Skelter. Helter Skelter of are. fun. Join. Uh, so, Mark Shalot is here, as is Jeff and Gemma. Uh, that seems to be everybody that's in the chat at the moment. So, welcome to all of you. If you're watching and not in the chat, come along and join in. Because it gives us you know, someone to bounce off of and someone to talk to while we're not power washing. But we're going to be power washing for a little while. I am downloading and, and loading dirt, it said. So I guess there's like a, you know, because it's, the game was halfway done or something. It had to download yeah. dirt. So I'm here now. Download it. Uh, I was there. Here I am. Yep, here I am. Uh, so, yes, uh, if you're new to the stream, to the channel, welcome. Uh, this is Power Wash Simulator, uh, our go to easy game of choice uh, because it's very, very easy and doesn't take any brain power at all. Uh, hardly takes any anything really. For Doesn't take yourself. any high power, reading, nothing else like that. It's just a case of uh, get you see, see dirt, clean dirt. There we go. And as I keep saying, it's just like it's the most unlikely of games, but it, it is. really is. There's a lot of fun. You get to kind of chill out and visit with whoever you're playing with. It's yeah, there's a chance to chat, chance to uh, hang out with you guys and chat. Uh, there is another game I've seen that's in development on Steam that looks like it could be much the same sort of thing is Leaf Blower Simulator. <laughs> oh boy. It, it's oh, sort of, I don't know if I'd like that. It, but. it makes you think, why would they bother <laughs> making a game like that? But you'd think that about this one as well. So, that's true. There is that. Yeah. I, I shall try the demo when that comes out and see what we think. But yeah, <laughs> this one's got enough content to keep us going for a long time anyway. You're not, not too likely to get a really headache or want to punch somebody in the face in this game. Uh, yeah, I think that the chance of violence, apart from hosing somebody down a little bit, is pretty yeah. slim. Probably not it's non-existent, but you know, like you said. Like, oh no, it's not non-existent. I mean, someone might, you know, inadvertently spray the back of your head and you hey, might, hey, might hey, it, hey, hey, what's wrong with you? Here, yeah, have some of your own medicine. <coughs> you had some dirt on top of your head, so I tried to clean it off. I'm sure I did. Thank you for cleaning it. Yeah, sure, anytime. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, um, so join in the chat, come along and say hello. Let me just grab a quick drink while I'm here. Now, is the leaf blower game by the same company, or is it somebody just black? I think it's somebody different. Uh, wow. Well. Um, but, it's, uh, yeah, from what I've seen of a video, it looks like it's third person rather than first person. Interesting. And, uh... Yeah, I've seen a video of it running, and it looks much the same. It's, it's much the same as this in that once you blow the dirt, blow the leaves away, they just vanish rather than... Oh, you don't have to... 
my, my neighbor has a service come by every Friday <coughs> and Excuse blow me. all their leaves onto my property. That's nice, sir. It is. You give them back. I don't. No, I just leave. I'd, I'd be tempted to give them back in a big bag or something. Yeah, so. I probably should. I'd have to go outside, though. Ah, yeah, no, I wouldn't bother doing that then. Outside's where all strangers live. Yeah, I don't know. Scary. I like the dings. Each panel is an individual little ding. Uh, that's enjoy true. enjoy that. The ding is definitely like a... Inner box or the you know the rat presses the button and gets the yeah it, it, uh, it triggers the, the dopamine yeah yeah, yeah. It, it works with me Uh, so, uh, you weren't about last week. How's the how's world treating you at the moment, Jeff? Uh, actually, really well. Uh, uh, I haven't been as busy as I have, I've been, as I normally have been uh, for the last couple of years, which is a very good thing. And, yeah, things are things are going well. Thank you. Hope, hope the same for you. Uh, much the same, yeah. Things are, things are what they are, but, you know. That's it. Right. Yeah. I can't say anything about what tomorrow might hold, but uh, as of right now... This week in the UK has got cold again. Really? Yeah. It's um, huh. back to single digits. Ooh, wow. And, that is, uh, that's cold. Not, not pleasant. I'm not liking it. I don't like the cold. Mm. But I don't like it too hot either. But I, I, yeah. I like it to be just right. Which, I like to be know. just right as well. <laughs> Although right now it's... Uh, it's supposed to thunderstorm all day today, which is just fine with me. I went out to the grocery store and got some, got some groceries, and uh, it's still raining. You might be able to hear some thunder every now and then because I'm next to a window. Uh, well, I can just but, hear power washing noises now, so you know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, like I said I don't, I don't need to be outside, so that's fine. Do you don't mind storms or? I don't mind storms at all. No, I, I quite it, enjoy a, a nice storm. Yeah. Um, Joe doesn't like it. She doesn't like the thunder. Oh. Yeah, yeah I, I like thunder. thunder. I like lightning. I don't like hail. Hail is no, very bad no, here. Especially if you're outside in it. That's not pleasant. We had a hail storm come through in 2014 that uh, destroyed the roof on my house and two cars. That's not good. That, that's no. more than hail, isn't it? That's... Uh, that's hail. Yeah. That's, that's oh, we have huge hail coming down really quick. Yes, those are, that's yeah, the hail like that if you were outside it would damage you. Yeah. Yeah, we don't generally get that. You know, we, we get it every every few years. Well we get it I don't know, maybe every couple of years get hail, but then every Is that like huge hailstones or just Yeah. 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 We're talking maybe two and a half inch diameter. Oh yeah, uh, what what would that be like so, uh Five, six centimeters. Um, yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's that's quite big. I generally pride myself uh, on being so able to just not not quite golf ball size, but pull off. Yeah, about six centimeters. Yeah. And they come down fast too. Uh, they uh, destroyed not just my roof of my house and the cars, but on my wife's car it broke. All the gla or broke all the glass in the back, mm -hmm. and then uh, punched holes in the, you know, the, the, the material uh, that's on the rear deck. Really? Uh, total, but yeah, destroyed the car. That's not pleasant. No. There's no need for that. That's just rude. Uh, exactly. Yeah. That was a that was an expensive storm. Yeah. Is there some sort of insurance against that, or? Oh yes. Yeah, although all that means is that you uh, pay whatever it's going to be plus profit for the insurance. So, ah, right, yeah. Yeah, it, uh, 
believe me, they, they factor that in. But thankfully, we haven't had that in years. That bad. Yeah, and the UK might get pretty miserable weather a lot of the time, but at least it's not the extremes that you seem to get occasionally. Yeah. Yeah. It's just generally a bit miserable, cold and damp, and you know, but it's not dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's going to be the uh, time of the year. Right now it's the rainy season, which, like I said, I prefer over the summertime where it's just uh, miserable scorching heat. Yeah, that's not pleasant. I don't care for that a bit. Uh, I do. Gorkasaurus is in. Saying hello hey, to everybody. Yeah. Hey. Uh, Shadow's got biscuits. What biscuits have you got? Oh. But I didn't get at the store. It's all right. Mark's got some. He'll share. Oh, yeah. That's right. uh, I don't know. What, what, what's your favourite biscuit? Uh, well, um, as far as the ones that get mentioned on the boom hut a whole lot, I can get chocolate hop knobs at the, there's an Indian grocery store that I go to a lot, and those are delicious, along with Hop-ups just, uh, right. yeah. like those, and, uh, other just, uh, uh, tea biscuits, like, uh, digestives and things like that, I, I like sometimes. Now, as far as what we call cookies here, I like chocolate chip. Yeah. Yeah, I, I normal um, digestive biscuits are just sort of plain, boring. They're all right, but they're not anything special. Um, I, I prefer a rich tea biscuit rather than a digestive. Ooh. So again, I don't know how well that transfers across the across the bond. I don't know, but we have, like I said, a, a, a really nice uh, Indian grocery that has a lot of uh, English uh, foods there. So I try to. Them up when I can. I do like a jammy dodger. I don't know what that is. That's, um, yeah, they're, they're very pleasant. They're, uh, biscuit, uh, sort of, uh, slightly moister than digestive biscuit, but inside them is a, uh, oh. sort of layer of, uh, like a creamy filling and jam. I'm gonna write that down. Jammy dodger. Oh, Jelly, probably, but yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, we have jam and jelly here, and jam is more mushed up fruit, that's actual fruit, and jelly is kind of like a, um, oh, like a, like a gel that ha- that's vaguely fruit flavored. So, we have, uh, yeah, I mean, we, I pr- we, we jam. have jam, as you say, is the sort of proper fruit. Um, right. Again, we have jelly, but it's uh, not. It's normally served in a bowl as a dessert. It's okay. not the sort of, you don't add it to things. Ah. You might have it like ice cream and jelly would be the traditional. Oh, really? Hmm. Thing. Um, I look that up too. But yeah, it's it's not the same. I don't I don't believe it to be the same as what you would call jelly. I've never heard of ice cream and jelly, so yeah. I, is your, your traditional is like the peanut butter and jelly, isn't it? Is that? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's Yeah, I mean, that, that would be what we would call peanut butter and jam. Okay. Okay. But I don't like peanut butter, so I wouldn't have it. But, you know. yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I do like peanut butter. I think everybody I think in, in America, that is just like a super staple for everybody. Yeah, I mean, peanut butter is a fairly, fairly stable here. Gemma loves it, but I, I don't like okay. nuts, basically. So, uh, yeah, I, I can do without peanut butter completely. Interesting. 
um, yeah. And I'm, I'm not a marmite. I bought a half kilogram pot a while ago, and I'm scraping the bottom of it now. So it's time for me to get on a, a quest to find some more marmite. Yeah, I, I do enjoy marmite. Gemma again hates marmite, but yeah. <laughs> That's one of those love it or hate it things. It really is. That's, that's their, their advertising campaign is love it or hate it, but yeah. <laughs> very, very, uh, very divisive. Very just right divisive between people, yeah. I do like you. I know I like you for a reason. Aw, there you go. <laughs> and my wife too doesn't, doesn't like, uh, doesn't like it, which is fine because that means more for me and it's such a shame that the, the jar lasts longer isn't it yeah it is yeah especially because like for years i couldn't find any around here at, at all and then, uh, usually i can either buy it on a large website that deals in delivering things to your door or uh or at the indian grocery that i like to go to I've seen a few pictures of uh, not necessarily American, but some other countries that have a like a British Isle in their mm -hmm. supermarkets, and yep. the choice of things that they have is quite astounding. Oh, if, if I don't think the grocery store that I go to normally has much of an English section or a shelf or two, but if it does, I promise I'll take a photo and send it to you. <laughs> I think it would be hilarious to see what would be. Yeah, I mean, when American. I say astounding, I don't necessarily mean the width of the selection. It's more the, what they've decided is suitable for the selection. Yeah, the item. Yeah. It, it's like, yeah, um, you know, Agreed. yes, it's a British product, but why have you got that rather than, you know, I... this one or sort of, yeah, it's very strange sometimes. I heard the same thing, like I had a... Uh, like for some time ago, uh, uh, an Australian beer got very popular in the U.S. And every person I knew from Australia, all my Australian friends who lived here, said that's considered absolute garbage in yeah. Australia. So. Yeah, if you're gonna have something, don't have that. Have this. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And I mean. To a, to a man, they all said that. Yeah. Uh, Shalad says something. Let me read what he says. He says, uh, what we term as crisps uh, are called chips. Yep. Uh, varies being true. Yeah, it always astounds me the way things have different names in different countries, but they still apparently mm -hmm. talk the same language. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, I actually did some clicking around on the internet, which, you know, has the research nowadays for um, why some, some of that is, especially the spelling, but I have no idea how accurate it was. Yeah, I find that very interesting as well. Like, like Helter Skelter, for instance. You know, we yes, uh, we were talking, talking about that, 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 that with, uh, with Dan last time. Um, yep. It's just, I mean, I, I say it's a British thing. It is a British thing, but it's, it, you don't see them. They're not around. It's not the sort of thing that you find in a park or anything. It is a, definitely right. a circusy type. Yep. Yeah. 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 Um, I knew that one. Uh, because I was a big Beatles fan back in the... Well, still I'm a big Beatles fan, but... Uh, uh, I, I wouldn't have known that anyhow. Every now and then I run into something that, like you said, same, same thing, uh, completely different terms, which is in, in the same language. Yeah. Roughly. Boy, these, these uh, floors are... I don't know what people have been stepping in before they trod upon them. Yeah, you thought you'd take shoes off or something, wouldn't you? But, yeah. yeah. Long way out. 
where are you? Oh, you're climbing on, climbing up there. You and Dan got quite a lot done. I, I think we only did like two percent or something. It wasn't, you know, oh, really. Not. Once you get into it, it doesn't take very long to do most of this, does it? Uh, Steve one three one is hid. Yeah, Steve. Uh, how did this ride get so dirty? He says, "Yes, it's quite scary, isn't it?" No. You know, just hose off the patrons, not the not the equipment so much. Yeah. Before they come in, they gotta. Cattle wash. Yeah, it de dirted. Walk through the first ride would be the. Yeah, the. Uh... The participant wash. I think there should be a, a power wash creator level where you can spray dirt instead of water and make it yeah. better for somebody else to clean. Oh yeah, that would be fun. You can go in at night and do that to make it work for yourself in the morning the next day. All right, a competitive level. Where you'd start That's off with it. a thing half mm -hmm. clean and half dirty. Mm -hmm. One of you would be spraying dirt, one of you would be coating <laughs> it down. Genius. <laughs> yeah, that would that would not be so chill a game, probably. No, that would be less chill, yeah. That would be less chill, but you know, people like that kind of thing. Yeah, you can get different kinds of dirt throwers. Level up and get different kinds of dirt. Yeah. Track footprints everywhere. It's been pretty miserable this month so far, but yeah. we've seen the end of the rain for now, but it's going to start getting colder again. Although next week they say it's going to warm up, but I've yet to see that. The weather's definitely not what it used to be. I think you're right. I mean, within, within memory. And last weekend I mowed the lawn. Now I have an electric lawnmower that I bought, I think, four years ago. 
and it gave me a red light after about half of my lawn, so either I didn't charge it fully or I'd waited too long since I charged it last, or it's going to be time for me to buy a new battery for the thing, that's going to be pricey. I do like that thing a lot. Yeah, I don't know that we've got rechargeable from ours here. They, t they tend to be electric, but you have to plug them in. You've got a cable going to the house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, a rechargeable one would be quite useful. But then again, we've generally got smaller gardens than you, so not a problem to have a cable going because it's not going to have to be a stupid link with a cable. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a very large lawn, but if I had a cable, I'm sure I'd be running over it or <laughs> just find other things to do other than mow the lawn because it would just be a pain to have to get it out and hold up and. No, they, they do uh, offer rich ones that are rechargeable. Uh, very highly recommended. I really like mine. Well, you can get robot ones now, can't you? Sure can. Yeah, I don't need that. But. Uh, just having it so you don't have to do it yourself would be quite worth quite. Uh... That, that would be. That would be really good. But I think for the size of my lawn, I would spend more time... You know, hard to say. I guess it just depends how, how good they are. My wife has, has a Roomba. She likes that. We've had a few Roombas over the, over the years. Yeah, never had one. They work pretty well. But again, our room sizes are different to yours. Right. me back when they first came out I got one and then I kind of got some used ones from friends of mine who always wanted to have the latest one I buy them used from them but it seemed like it was taking me longer to clean out and maintain the Roomba than to just oh, clean, right, yeah. clean up myself so I kind of I can tell when my wife is using one, it's usually my dog, or our dog, hangs out downstairs with her, and then if she huh. turns a room on, she's definitely up here in my office with me. Ah, right, yeah. Definitely. She doesn't like that. That's a bad thing. There's some red spots of quick bubble gum on the side of the stairs here. And I didn't realize that you can blast those off too if you just concentrate hard enough and are determined.
thing from doing this shit. I know, I've been on these stairs for the longest time and probably got oh, to I'm the getting... under, underneath of this bit. Getting close though, I hope think. Should be pretty close. By all right. Yeah, the underneath is gonna be a thing. Signpost somewhere, and this that counts. Hmm. Oh, now I'm looking at the wrong thing. That's why. There's some dirt at the top by the pole. I think I didn't. Okay, let's go check now. Up there. Is that what someone's? I didn't. It's the, the top thing I got a ding for. Ah. So, uh. Oh, yeah, they yeah, did not didn't miss any up here. No, I got all of that. I don't think spraying these electric bulbs is that smart an idea. I should probably turn them off first, but, eh. No, it's fine. What's the worst yeah. that happened? Yeah, you're right. Stairs. Some dirt on the stairs. Where? I don't see any dirt. Oh. doing. It's on this yellow painted part that looks like about the same yellow color as when you hit the tab button. Uh, so it shows yeah, you that's dirt. Not pleasant. That's just not nice. I finally got that part clean. Yay, go <laughs> me. Let's go. Nice. Uh, so, I've been watching the new uh, TV show, the um, Fallout uh, yes. show, and been quite enjoying it. I uh, didn't particularly enjoy the first episode, but I stuck with it. 
came mm -hmm. back. I've watched the first four episodes now, so I'm halfway through it uh, and enjoying it. Um, I've got no spoilers. No spoilers. So, I think you've watched all of it now, have you? I watch very, very, very little TV at all, and all right. I gave this one a shot, and I pretty much binge-watched it. So, yeah, I, I watched all of it, really liked it. A couple of quibbles, uh, but, uh, boy, they really captured the look and feel of Fallout, I thought. And I heard that they're going to be making a uh, season two. So yeah, really I do believe it's that. been quite popular. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing just how, I don't know what the whole budget is for everything, but, you know, it's apparently a worldwide release, because at the end it had all the languages that it was translated into. And yeah. I know they had some very impressive uh, advertising campaigns, like they made a subway somewhere that looked like a Fallout subway. Really? At all the... Yeah, I think it was in Toronto or somewhere in Canada. And, uh, and the, the overall production, I thought, was very impressive. Yeah, yeah, I did uh, very much enjoy it. Yeah, if anybody's a Fallout fan, uh, you'll, I think you'll like it. I know when the trailer first came out, people were complaining that the, uh, the Brotherhood of Steel wasn't depicted accurately. <laughs> but apparently, yeah. I think it was. It wasn't as the same as it has been in the like, Fallout 4 or something. But right. apparently, it's very similar to how it's depicted in the first couple of games. Right. And I, I own those, and I really want to go back and play 1 and 2, uh, and just never have. Uh, I like to turn it turn-based games, but I don't know how well I might like them now that I'm used to first person Yeah, games. it's difficult. I, I went back to play uh, some XCOM. Oh yeah, I love that game! Um, and I couldn't play it. I couldn't play it very really? much at all because I just couldn't get back to oh. it. It just didn't do it for me anymore. But as you say, I love the first one. Terror oh, of the Deep I and ever... everything as well. I loved all of them. Wow. But uh, no, it's not the same. Yeah, yeah. And I've done some other ones too, you know, games I really, really enjoyed back in the day. And I played a bit of them, and then it was kind of like, well, you know, I kind of know how it's going to end up, and I just didn't. Uh, just didn't think. Frame uh, this. Is not really much. But yeah, I, I started with the Fallout franchise with three, really. And at that time, people were saying with three, uh, hey, what's the deal with the way the Brotherhood is now compared to how they used to be? Yeah. So, so yeah, okay, so no, no spoilers, but I have a couple of little canvas bags, kind of like messenger bags, but they're not that big. It's you know a man purse, basically. That uh, I have one of them is khaki color, and I have the. Uh, Baltech logo on it, and then I have another one that's black, and I have the Brotherhood of Steel logo on yeah. that. I had, them, I had them embroidered with those. Nice. Yeah, like every now and then somebody comments on them, which is always fun. I expect that's going to happen a lot more now. <laughs> I think so. I've heard that the uh, percentage for people playing Fallout 4 has skyrocketed in a lot of places and I certainly noticed the uh, the YouTube homepage has got an awful lot of Fallout stuff on it now. Oh really? So I'm assuming that the uh, the search algorithm has just got a bit crazy with it. I'm sure you're right. Yeah, I bet you I bet you're right. I just haven't noticed maybe. Yeah, I like the. I like the franchise, I like the universe, I like all the lore. I like the artwork. Yeah, the, the artwork and the art direction is very unique. But uh, yeah. I can't be doing reading all the logs and everything. It's, it's a bit no. too deep for me. With three, I did. And with New Vegas, which I very much enjoyed, I did. With four, I'm really and I still haven't quite finished four. 
by just kind of pick it up every now and then and mainly just do side quests or wander around. I haven't played yeah. so many at all. I have trouble going back to games in that I forget what I'm doing, what the keys are, and yep. everything about them. So I, I do tend yep. to have to stick to one for a while. That one I keep going back to uh, uh, is in large part because I just don't have the time for gaming that I used to. But I, you know, I don't care for it as much as the other ones I've played. Mm. I still like, I mean, I still love the, uh, love the universe and uh, uh, pick it up and, and play for a little bit. But I'm the same way, I forget what I was doing and how far I was on things and what I needed to be needed to be doing. Although it's, it's decent at telling you what the next step in a quest is. Oh, the wind's really picking up. The trees are really, really shaking around. Yeah. If I become disconnected, it might be because I've you know, the whole <laughs> house lost power. Well, hopefully you're safe enough, but uh, yeah. Yeah, what can I do? There we go. That's the top then. Yeah, I got a panel done. Yay. The little things. Just off power Paul Stewart uh voted. Hopefully he's doing well. Uh, yeah, I'll still chat to him occasionally, but he doesn't get uh, online much, doesn't watch the streams much, but sit yeah. around. That's a shame. Uh, heck of a sense of humor, I think. some of these things because I can't stand where I want to stand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm not sure there's that big, you know, I don't know what it is, some kind of like a gantry almost, a big multi -level. Oh, that's a round on this one, is it? Okay. Ladder. I need to pull that in at some point. Yeah, I moved it over hoping I could use it to clean that, clean the big face over the stairs and I really couldn't get it close enough to help me out, so I just went for Went for easier things to do right now while I kind of think about that a little bit. Saturday, May 4th, I'm not going to be able to play because I don't think I'll be able to play because it's being May the 4th and also free comic book day. Is it? Okay. It is. It's, it's where comic book stores here in the U.S. at least give away free comic books uh, to get people addicted to comic books and you know, buy more. And I, this will be the 10th of your well, I haven't taken R2 out the last couple of years. But there's a really nice game and comic book store not too far away that I've been taking R2 to since 19, or I'm sorry, 2014, and they've asked me to bring him by again. So cool. hopefully I'll spend the day out there having fun there with a great big heavy droid. Yeah. Or actually, uh, not not that not that big, heavy. Hopefully it'll function properly. Did you get your battery thing sorted out for it? I did. I did. That was less of a headache than I thought, but it's because I just kind of went back and just said, ah, I'll just use the old technology battery. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. have time to redesign and redo a lot of stuff, so I'll just do that. 
but yeah, they were, they, they are heavy, and it was a little bit of an investment, but hey, it's fun. Next weekend, I'm going to have to take the, take the rear seats out of my car so I can transport it. <laughs> You mean you have a, a droid bay? I do not have a droid bay. No, I wish. I don't have a droid trailer or anything like that. I guess there, although, thankfully, I, without realizing it, that's the vehicle I bought before I had any idea I'd be building an R2-D2. Uh, uh, it, it's possible to load an R2 into, into it if I remove the back seats, so uh, for from probably most of the time that I've owned that thing, I haven't had back seats in it because you know I, I need to take R2 somewhere. Could use Dan here and go a lot faster. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get this um, finished tonight, certainly. Right. Normally, the first you know, 70 or 80 percent goes quite quick and it takes as long to do the, the yep. final 20 percent. But Yep. Yeah, yeah, I think this one might be dirtier than some of the others that I've played. It's taking longer to blast some of the. Dirt off. Yeah, I've not been getting some things on these, but I think you've got to do the other side of the things, which is obviously from the outside that's going to be using the towers for some of this. But gotcha. Definitely some of the floor is not coming off with a normal mm -hmm. jetting. It took me forever to get those stairs. Uh, stairs uh, Yeah. You've been building any models or working on anything? Oh, actually, you had a few projects you've been building lately. Uh, I've just been doing the part works at the moment. I'm not doing any yeah. proper models for now. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I've been working on a few. Um, uh, the 110th part of the Enterprise is uh, done. Wow. Wow. I'll catch up on some of those. I think there's only 10 more issues to that to go. So, and another couple of three months, and uh, yeah, we hmm. finished. Did you see that they found the three-foot original uh, model of the Enterprise from the 60s TV show that was All right. oh, I lost? Out on that. lost. Yeah, it was uh, Gene Roddenberry had lost it during his lifetime. Lent it out somewhere, I believe, and it was never returned and considered stolen or permanently yeah. lost. And somebody located a model of the Enterprise out of you know, ball and paper, pretty much, that was a contender for being that missing that missing model. Hmm. And it's been verified that yes, indeed, it's, that's the one. A big Star Trek news. Yeah, that's quite impressive. Yeah. Are you hearing my dings or just your dings? Uh, yeah, we, we hear everyone's dings, yeah. Okay. That's right, because I've heard yours, but. Yeah, dings are shared.
have some time today to do some hobby work of some kind and a little, a little later, but definitely can't do any, any priming of models with the weather outside like it is. No, it sounds like it's a bit miserable there. Yeah, I think if I could, you know, you know it'd be with spray can, uh, spray can primer. I guess I could drag out the airbrush, but that would, that would take time away from maybe just building something. surface of this slide it's very uh, nice and reflective and yeah yeah it is uh, it is a different it does have a different appearance than everything else that I've seen Thing it's not slippery. I'm not having that. Yeah. Yeah, that would have an extra level of difficulty. That would. I think I'll get down to the bottom of this slide and pull down night. Oh, you know. So, uh, so that's probably going to be another 10 minutes, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. Try to at least get the So you think you might be about next week, but not the week after, is what you're That's what I'm thinking right now. That's what yeah. my, my uh, maths works out to me. Yeah, that's, yeah, I think I should be able to play next Saturday. As of now, but my uh, itinerary has been kind of crazy lately and having a lot of interrupts on it, so... I, can uh, I won't hold you to it. But, uh, Appreciate that. Uh, assuming you are, we'll have to decide what we're going to play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think a break from power wash would be good, but uh, yeah. if anyone's got any suggestions, is there anything we could get on with, then uh, let us know. Yeah, I'll pick up, uh, I'll pick up Planet Crafter, and that way we'll get Yeah, Planet Craft is a new one, one that Dan's found, but uh, when the three of us are back together, we're going to okay. have a delve into it. It's quite good fun, by the looks of it. I played a little bit of the demo, and... Uh, I enjoyed it, so yeah. That way we can not only uh, have options, but more uh, more uh, questionnaires on your site. Have people vote on what they want to see. Yeah. Get that participant. Depending uh, on who's available.
Yeah, I know Dan's not going to be around for the next month, basically. He's um, oh, yeah. busy with conventions and traveling, so. Yeah. Yeah, good for, good for him. Just having him here, but glad he's out having fun and doing fun convention stuff and being able to travel and good for him. I don't think I'm going to get down to the bottom of this tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's. I went around from the bottom part up and didn't get very far either. Just because these panels just have, seem to have a lot more dirt take on them than what, what, what's normally. Oh, here we are. Just yeah, no, I've, I've walked down a lot. Just, yeah, we're not going to get okay. together. We might get together if we just do the floor rather than the... Just do the floor. Just, just do the floor. We'll get that done. Just do the floor. Just then it feels like we've accomplished something. That's it. Yes, we can tell who's ever... Who's ever parked this is. Well, hey, we got the floor all done. This slide, slide wall. Now the slide is just the bottom bit, so it's quite I likely that I've missed some. Or well, the edge is more of the edge than I thought. Well, and I'll hit the little, you know, tab the NPC. See what? Oh, there's probably just one little speck somewhere that. Percentage-wise, we've got to be way, way, way up there. And oh, here's a big blob of dirt. Mm -hmm. That's what's Seventy percent. Come on. That's enough. Yeah, it's clean enough. Come on. The thing. The slide. There we hey! Go. Yay! So that will do us for now. Um, thank you all for watching. And uh, we'll see you for more of this at some point. But uh, say so next week we'll do something different. Leave a comment either on here or somewhere on Facebook or whatever, and I shall see what anybody wants to see, and we'll get on and do something different. So yeah. There's only so much power washing I can do it at once. <laughs> <coughs> so thank you all for watching. Uh, never cross the streams. No, obviously you shouldn't have crossed the streams. You know that. Okay. So thank you all for watching. Uh, stay safe. We shall see you for some more soon. Uh, tomorrow night, Katie's returning as ever with some Subnautica. So uh, join us for that and have a, a giggle and see how she does. And um, other than that, uh, Wednesday it will be my week to do some Robocop. I did some Elite last week and I should do some more Elite the week after, but I'm going to do some Robocop this time. 
So if you enjoy watching that, you know where that's going to be. And uh, yeah, we'll see what's going on throughout the week. So thank you all for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye bye for now. Bye bye. Take care all. Oh, your buttons don't work. I forgot your button don't work. The ending oh, no. sequence doesn't work. I have to actually click the ending button. So, oh. <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Good night. <laughs> Apologies for the ending just being an ending. Actually, is there an ending button? Uh, stream ending. I'll click on the ending bit. So, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.